The How to Fight story opens by showing a high school boy who has just started live streaming by greeting his subscribers on the NewTube platform, which is currently very trending. This person named Paco, who has 700,000 subscribers. The live streaming event takes place at lunchtime and is currently holding a collab with a new beauty NewTuber who is in the same class as her named Arumi. Her beautiful and sexy face makes her a selling point as a NewTuber. She is currently asking for support from Paco subscribers. Rumi's content is all about schoolgirl makeup, and she apparently has her models ready to introduce her content today. Rumi had already dressed the model, and she showed off her model. And suddenly the audience laughed, seeing the face of a man who was toyed with being a clown, this boy named Hoban. In his heart he was very upset for being toyed with like this. However, Hoban actually had his reasons for allowing himself to be made fun of, because he thought he might be given some money later. But unfortunately, with a scary and threatening look, Paco told Hoban to greet his subscribers with a smile. His subscribers don't know that Paco is two-faced. He asks his channel subscribers to continue to support him and says that he will do a computer giveaway, even though Hoban knows it's all a lie. In front of the camera, he looks like a good person, even though in reality he is a bully. Hoban couldn't resist and finally made a forced smile greeting Paco subscribers. In the toilet, Hoban is having trouble removing the makeup that Rumi has put on his face. He really hates this school and thinks his life is sad. Everyone has a purpose in life, but he doesn't. For example, Paco, even though he is stupid, he earns millions of money from his live streaming, and Rumi is a new tuber. She earns money just by selling her looks. Everyone has their own abilities, and only Hoban feels he has nothing. Not only did he feel he was stupid, but he was also very poor. That was who he was now. Hoban took a very long time to clean the makeup. Back in class, Hoban chose not to think about it all because it would only make him feel sad. But suddenly a kick hit Hoban's chest. Then Hoban's chest was trampled very hard just because Hoban's face was an eyesore. He is Jikse, an influential person in class as well as Paco's cameraman and servant, and is one of the people who bullies Hoban very often. But even though he looks arrogant and likes to bully, actually he is a coward who doesn't know how to fight. But even though he is weak, there is Paco who helps him. He who had been stared at by Hoban immediately complained to Paco. He really knew how to do politics at school using himself as a Paco cameraman. After that, Rumi looked happy. He thanked Paco because after the live stream earlier, he got more than 300,000 won, so he promised to give something to Paco. Paco also looked cool in response, while Hoban was very surprised to hear that. He didn't expect that during break time he could get 300,000 won because he wanted to earn money too. For that, Hoban thought whether he should start becoming a new tube too. His thoughts were in line with Yixa's words because he also planned to do so. Besides that, he already has the basics in taking videos. And for that, Jixe asked Paco what it takes to become a new tuber. Paco said, if Jixe cannot because there is an age limit, there must be an adult account for verification. Jixe, who was once caught cheating by using his parents' ID, was no longer allowed to use it by his parents. After he thought further, he came up with an idea by asking Hoban something. He said, hey Hoban, your mother is still alive. I heard she was sick. Let me use your mother's ID. Hearing that Hoban could only look down silently while Paco laughed, thinking this was a joke. Hoban doesn't care about the others. He really wants to fight Jixe. But he couldn't do it for one reason or another. The thing that really hurt him was, their words were felt to be too cruel. Her mother has cancer and is currently hospitalized. Meanwhile, at a hospital, Hoban is seen visiting his mother. His mother said that the doctor said he should be able to go home soon, but Hoban knew that his mother had lied to put him at ease. Her mother said it was because she was worried about the monthly rent for this hospital, let alone Hoban struggling to find money. But Hoban said not to worry about that. He could take care of everything, so asked his mother to stay here because Hoban knew that if his mother was at home, his condition would get worse. His mother, seeing Hoban's face scratched, became curious and worried, and asked him if Hoban had been fighting. Hoban was also forced to lie by saying he never fought, so his mother wouldn't worry. After that, Hoban paid his mother's hospital bill fee of 300,001. The woman who was a hospital cashier looked worried when she saw Hoban, who always looked tired, weakly, 
Hoban gave 300,000 won. As he handed over the money, Hoban thought again. A person could earn all this money in a short amount of time, but for him, he needed to work hard for it. After finishing his business at the hospital, Hoban did a part-time job at a fast food restaurant to make ends meet, starting from various house and hospital bills, which totaled 1,180,000 one a month. Whereas every time he worked, he only earned 50,000 one. Thinking back on people who earned 300,000 one in a short time made Hoban even more annoyed and felt his life was like hell. However, he still has a passion for life namely a woman who happens to work part-time at the same place as Choi Bomi, the idol of this restaurant. When Choi Bomi asked Hoban where the bread was, he answered that it was in the freezer. Immediately the male employees there immediately offered to help, while Hoban could only blush because he could talk to Bomi. Apart from that, just glancing at Bomi, Hoban is already happy. A few moments after that, Pak Go, who was live-streaming, came with Jixai recording from behind. The people who were in the restaurant immediately videoed Pakgo. Viewable with 700,000 subscribers, he is already quite famous. Tonight's Pakgo content is located in the restaurant where Hoban is working on a mission. Hoban who saw Pakgo immediately hid because he didn't want to get involved in Pago's ridiculous mission. And Pago's mission was to challenge the goddess of this restaurant. And she was Choi Bomi. Pago said he came here because he got a rumor about a burger. So Pago made a challenge by asking Bomi to make a super brown whopper for 30 seconds. And if she couldn't, then Choi Bomi had to give Pako his cell phone number. Hearing this made Hoban feel annoyed. He was very sure that actually the rumors that Pako said were just lies. He was only here because Bomi was beautiful. After that, he made excuses to Bomi that this was just a request from his viewers. Even though Pako already knew that it was impossible to make a whopper in 30 seconds because there were 10 ingredients in it. Therefore, Paco said to Bomi, just give Bomi's handphone number and after this live he will treat Bomi a drink. The male employees looked very jealous and annoyed because they didn't even have Bomi's number. But in the middle of the conversation, suddenly the Whopper was finished by Hoban within 30 seconds with the addition of the flag, like the one on the poster, and bread for a bonus. With a face full of sweat and irregular breathing, Hoban said, there are many customers behind you, you can leave now. After saying that Hoban walked backwards, making Pakko, Jixai, and Bomi immediately dumbfounded, the audience laughed when they saw Pago, who couldn't get Bomi's number, even though he looked cool earlier. But when he got to the kitchen, Hoban felt he would die at school tomorrow. But on the other hand, their male employees praised Hoban. After finishing work, Hoban got home, even though he was very tired. He had to cook ramen with kimchi because Jixai was live streaming an FPS game at Hoban's house using his mother's ID and account. Hoban felt that just punching him would not be enough for Hoban. Jixai got a lot of offers from his viewers because of Pakko's promotion. Now someone is giving Jixai a challenge on his live streaming, where he is told to kill 30 enemies in a game he is playing, and if he can do it, then that username will give him 300,000 won. Hoban, who knew that thought that he might be given a little money because it was using his mother's ID. But when Hoban brings ramen and kimchi to Jixai, he wonders if he should ask about the money he will get, because he feels that he deserves even a little of it. But unfortunately, when he was about to bring ramen to the table, Hoban tripped over a plug cord when Jixai was close to getting 30 kills. Because he had tripped earlier, the monitor suddenly turned off and shocked him, when he saw Hoban's side tripping and kimchi flying in front of him, Hoban's head hit Jixai's stomach while the pot hit Jixai's face, making him drenched in ramen broth. Hoban immediately apologized for accidentally slipping, while an angry Jixai went into a tantrum because his 300,001 was flying, so he trampled on Hoban and told Hoban to replace his money while swearing lowly. He even went so far as to say that Hoban was a person who brought bad luck because his mother had cancer because of Hoban. Instantly, Hoban immediately got angry and he hit Jixi from below. This was the first time Hoban dared to fight back when he was being bullied, his first fist, and the first opponent he fought. These were all new experiences for him. Jixi hit Hoban in the face too, after which they exchanged punches like boys fighting. Until finally Hoban's house became a mess. He felt strange when fighting. Earlier he didn't feel pain, but after that his body became sick all over, 
and his house became very messy. Seeing all that, Hoban again thought about money. He began to wonder why every day he thinks about money, when other children get pocket money. He also wished that he was born into a rich family. Feeling annoyed thinking about all that, Hoban didn't want to tidy up his house. He then chose to just sleep. But before that, he turned off the power outlet to save money to reduce electricity consumption. The next morning, Hoban woke up because his cell phone kept ringing. When he picked it up, immediately heard a scream from Jixai who cursed him and told him to quickly delete the video. He also shouted asking where Hoban's house was because in his area, everything looked the same. You quickly deleted yesterday's YouTube video restreaming. Hoban asked what happened to NewTube. He was sure that his PC died when he tripped over a loose cable. But on second thought, the loose cable wasn't for the CPU. It was just the monitor. So the live stream went on and recorded all of their fight scenes last night. Jixay tearfully says yesterday's fight was recorded live. And even though the monitor is off, the camera is still on. More than that, Jixay can't delete the video because it uses his mother's account. Hoban snapped at him because he didn't upload the video, he just turned off the power so his computer shut down. Jixi said that if the computer turns off while doing a live stream, the video will be uploaded automatically. Hoban was taken aback, as if in disbelief. Then he hurriedly opened NewTube, and it turned out that the video had indeed been uploaded. The video was flooded with comments, not only from Korea, but all over the world. After that, Hoban realized that he, who had been just an ordinary fool, was now one of the stupidest people in the whole world. Before things get out of control, Hoban plans to delete the video. But when he wanted to delete it, he remembered that on YouTube, views can turn into money, one one per view, which means he can take all the money from the video. If he gets one one per view, the money he gets will be equal to the number of views. Hoban then saw the view, and he was surprised because the video had been watched 10 million times, which meant he would get 10 million one worth of money. At school, the class children laughed at the ridiculous fight between Hoban and Jixai. They thought that Hoban and Jixai would not come to school because they were embarrassed. Unexpectedly, Jixai came to school. He knew his classmates had seen their stupid videos based on their stares at him. Jixai, who has struggled to become an influential person in class thanks to being by Paco's side, doesn't want to be the next bully target, for that he looks for the weakest target to bully him on. Now, he also saw a gamer who looked weak and walked to his place slapping his head from behind. Unexpectedly, this person with geeky aura fought back by punching Jixai in the face. Didn't get there. He sat down on Jixai who was lying down and punched Jixai repeatedly while saying that he would die immediately with a made-up Japanese accent. His heavy weight made Jixay unable to move to fend him off. He was also in trouble, and for that, he looked at Pago so that Pago could help him. But Pago laughed at him instead, so the school politics that had been built by Jixai for a long time were destroyed instantly, with the person earlier throwing his fist at Jixai. Meanwhile, at the hospital where Hoban's mother was treated, she was shocked by the hospital's bill this week of 1.2 million won. The hospital administrator was worried about Hoban because she knew that Hoban's father was gone, and she was sure that Hoban would skip school because he was worried about his mother. Apart from that, he also knew Hoban had to work to make money alone, and thinking about that made him want to bear the expenses for Hoban, which he felt was too much for his age. But unexpectedly, Hoban was able to pay directly with cash, which astonished the woman. It turns out that Hoban could do this thanks to his viral fighting video. He got 10 million won. Even now, the video views are 11 million. Leaving the hospital with a happy face, he was greeted with a fist to the cheek. Without even looking, he already knew it was from Jixai who had lost everything. Jixai was wailing in the middle of the street because Hoban got a lot of money while Dia lost everything, and even now become the target of bullying at school. He also asked for his share of money too. Hoban had a feeling Jixai would come to him feeling sorry for him, but Hoban prefers not to give his money, so he kicks Jixai hard. Hoban was no longer afraid after fighting him. They were fighting again in the middle of the street. At night, they decided to sit together in the city park. Jixai was still crying because he had lost everything. Hoban was a little worried, but however he didn't want to share the money, then taunted him. 
Jixi also threatens to share a video of their fight, and it turns out that he secretly recorded it. Hobin immediately got up and held him, but Jixi said that the angle of view he got was really good. Also, Jixi said that by uploading this video, public opinion will lift their fights just by setting them up. Hobin also knew that now Jixi didn't want to fight, but wanted to invite him to cooperate. Jixi asked for cooperation with Hobin. He grabbed Hobin by saying that if he could get more money with a new video that would be able to penetrate two times the previous video. He will play maid. Then Jixi says Paco got the 700,000 thanks to his meddling. The thing about new tube that Hobin doesn't understand is that he will take care of it. Hobin only focuses on being the main character. That way he will earn a lot of money. Hobin, who was carried away with a lot of money, felt that Hobin had taken the bait. Then Jixai said the distribution of the results was nine to one. He was the ninth Hobin one. As if he fell for Jixai's seduction, Hobin reached out his hand to shake Jixai's hand. But in the middle of that, he raised his middle finger. Hobin didn't want to. He walks away saying it is better part-time work than that. Jixai, who didn't want to sink further and become the object of ridicule, now offered a split of four to six. Hobin still remained silent. Jixai became increasingly pale from his desire to become the top new tuber manager. Until finally he offered a split of one to nine. He was one Hobin nine. Finally Hobin agree. Hobin asked with a triumphant look what to do. Jixai said that Hobin needed a live stream targeting school thugs. The next day, taking advantage of Hobin and Jixai's viral video, Pago told his viewers that they were his friends, using a scary face. He told Jixai and Hobin to greet his viewers. Those who are afraid can only obey slowly. Jixai said when Hobin would do it, and Hobin seemed to have made up his mind. When Paco told his viewers not to forget to like and subscribe because he was going to do a computer giveaway, Hobin immediately loudly said it was all a lie. This jerk is deceiving you all, and the giveaway is just a scam. Back to the present time, Hobin is not afraid anymore. In the end, he will be destroyed. Therefore, he will get money from Paco. Hobin said bad things about Paco, starting with Paco pretending to be good in front of the camera, bullying. After that, Hoban opened his shirt showing bruises on his body and all of that because of Paco for proof. From that, Hoban told him to unsubscribe from his channel. On Paco's side, he was getting annoyed, while Yixai had planned all of this, thinking Paco's subscribers would go to Hoban's channel. But for some reason, Paco laughed because it turned out that his cell phone had been turned off. Next, he slapped Hoban many times. While getting beat up, Hoban looked at Yixai. Jixai gave a signal not to look at him because actually he was live streaming too. People watched a lot, and Hobin's subscribers increased. Even the videos became trending so that now the viewers continue to increase. I can't believe Paco will bully him with a scary face. This is exactly what Jixai wanted. He was secretly recording in the back while Hobin focused on acting and taking all the punches. That way they would make a lot of money. Hobin complied because he really needed money. Because apart from having to find money to pay for his daily needs and his mother's hospital fees. Then Jixai was surprised to see Hoban who seemed to want to fight back. He stood up in a pose wanting to fight. Paco was even more annoyed. Paco's face looked scary to Hoban, but after remembering Paco also insulted his mother, he dispelled that fear. Not only classmates, this duel was also watched by other classmates. They seemed to not believe it and thought Hoban was crazy. Jixai felt that Hoban was stupid, even though he was about to finish soon, but instead, he challenged Paco back. Nonetheless, Hoban looked fearless. But actually, what was on Hoban's mind was whether no one wanted to break it up, and his emaciated self with the big, muscular Paco irritated him even more. Then Paco swore and said he was an unlucky child with cancer. That's why his mother got cancer, hearing that Hoban immediately got angry. He touches Pago's thigh. People are shocked to see him, but nothing happens. Viewers laughed. Jixi felt that Hoban was doing something stupid again. Hoban, who was only 170 centimeters tall and weighed 50 kilograms, tried to slam a person who was 180 centimeters tall and weighed 80 kilograms. Paco then picked up Hoban and said, Isn't your mother in the hospital? Let me send you to the bed beside your mother, then slammed Hoban on the floor. Hoban screamed in pain. 
When he lay down, he realized the importance of weight and thought this was a real fight, not like a fight with Yixai. With this, Hoban felt relieved because in the end, it was all over. But that's not the case. Paco wanted more. He sat down on Hoban and threw his fist, but his fist stopped because someone said, Paco, I'm sleeping. Paco immediately turned to the source of the voice while saying, Which bastard dares to disturb me if you want to sleep at home, you bastard? The person raised his face to glare at Paco, saying to keep his way of speaking. Paco's guts immediately disappeared and said that he understood haltingly. The student's name was Kim Moon Sung, South Korea's MMA rising star. Even though Paco is a monster, but he is on a different level with Moon Sung. After that, Moon Sung went back to sleeping again, while Pago went to the cafeteria, even though Hoban lost, but he earned the respect of his viewers, and many of them wanted to subscribe to his channel. When Paco got home, he charged his cell phone because it was dead. He felt lucky the battery ran out so the live stream stopped. After the cell phone was turned on, many notifications came in, even up to 300, which on average said, Is it Paco? and told Pago to check the video because he was trending. In a hurry, he immediately checked it, and he was shocked. Meanwhile, at Hoban's house, he already feels cool after the duel with Paco, and now Paco is the number one trending topic. Because many share their videos in community groups, many share articles and share links to make the video even more viral. His Hoban channel subscribers soared and kept coming. With just two videos with millions of views, Hoban feels that this will be the era of Paco's downfall, and its glorious era will begin. Paco himself shouted angrily, swearing by shouting Hoban's name. Then Hoban remembered his conversation with Jixi. At that time, Jixi said his content was about how to fight. But there was an important problem at this time, namely the duration of the video to make money from YouTube, not from the number of views, but from the advertisements that came in. If the duration is long, a lot of advertisements will be able to enter. But at this time, Hoban can't even last one minute. Meanwhile, Jixai asks Hoban to last at least three minutes, or else their channel will be quiet because the audience will get bored. What Yixai said according to Hoban is true. Hoban thought of a way to last longer. At first, he thought of starting a gym. But if he works out in the gym, the effect is not visible in a short time. Hoban started looking for video tutorials about martial arts. There are lots of video tutorials, but mostly nothing that can be applied in the real world. Even if the tutorials are good, Hoban can't follow them. Then Hoban tried to type in the keyword, learn to fight alone. But while he was typing, he entered the wrong letter, but already entered. Even so, there is a channel that results from this typo. The video is already 58, but there are no subscribers at all. Hoban tried to check his channel. Even though there were no subscribers and viewers at all, this channel was consistent in uploading videos, so Hoban thought the person was strange. Then Hoban watched one of his videos, which was an old video. It shows a person with a chicken head who introduces himself as a chicken, and in this video he teaches how to accept pain. For the first time he says determination, the first is don't get too excited. After that he says other things. Hoban focused on seeing what he was doing, and a few moments after that, Hoban felt that this was just nonsense because the way he was taught wouldn't work. Hoban left because he felt it would be better for him to go to his part-time job. Paco took to the streets to live, but people's responses said that he was a failed kid. His fame faded after his name became a trending topic. He clarified on his channel to gain public sympathy, and at that time, many of his viewers forgave him. But in the end, the live announcement was caught by the settings because Paco forgot to turn off the camera. He swore at the audience, and the audience immediately berated him. Apart from the giveaway that Hoban spread was a lie, a lot of content setting other lies was spread by netizens. There is even a special page to calculate the decrease in the number of subscribers in real time. Because of that, Pat Go took to the streets to seek public sympathy, but his viewers responded by insulting him. Pat Go, which was once praised, is now reviled. In contrast to Paco, which has fallen in popularity, Hoban, with the new channel name How to Fight, is highly anticipated by many people. Determined to continue his channel, Hoban, who was at work at the time, decided to continue his channel and stop working as a part-timer because the results of his current part-time job 
would not be enough to pay for his mother's treatment at the hospital. At the changing location, the female employee overheard Hoban's plan to quit his part-time job, and Bomi heard that. The employees there were clearly heard by Hoban who mocked him. His manager also belittled him, who wanted to become a new tuber, by challenging different people, with everyone hating it. Bomi approached Hoban and said that he thought it was cool. Bomi is grateful because she now knows who Paco really is. Because he wanted to stop, Bomi asked for Hoban's cell phone number, and he would contact her later. Instantly, the manager and the male employees were envious. While at Hoban's side, he was dumbfounded in disbelief. At school the next day, Hoban took out his perverted look, because at this time he was chatting with Bomi, thinking about people's surprised expressions, when Bomi asked for his number, made Hoban even happier. Jixai suddenly lay down and asked why Hoban looked like a madman smiling to himself. Hoban said that he was researching content, but Jixai knew it was a lie, then asked, How do you feel Hoban being a person with 100,000 subscribers? If you say that Hoban was the first ordinary person to get 100,000 subscribers with just two videos, it's not certain that artists can. Then he asked if Hoban had found a way to last three minutes in a fight. Hoban couldn't say that he learned from strange people, so he said he would think about it first. Jixai immediately got angry and asked Hoban to do it seriously if he wanted to get money. Then Rumi, who now has 15000 subscribers, approached them with a seductive face. He asked Hoban to collab. Their male souls immediately thrashed. Even Rumi easily made Hoban give out a lewd expression. Hoban seeks approval from Jixai, who takes the opportunity to ask if Rumi has a female cameraman so they can double date. After that, there was the sound of a door opening with a bang, and it turned out that it was Paco who was annoyed. He thought they were conspiring to bring him down. They were scared because Paco, who was on a rampage, walked towards Hoban while taking off his clothes. Paco, who was feeling emotional, made Hoban remember the first part of the How to Fight video from the Unknown Chicken channel that he met last night. Paco, who was already in front of Hoban, punched Hoban, but his fist was somewhere else and Hoban just stood up. Paco's current situation is similar to what the chicken said. The more emotional the person is, the more difficult it is to control himself. Hoban felt that what the chicken said was true, then Pago threw a punch. Hoban, who already felt that he would be hit, chose to use the chicken's method to avoid pain. When he was hit, Hoban immediately received his punch, but Paco's punch stopped before Hoban's eyes. It turned out that Jixai, who threatened Paco with his camera, looked even more annoyed. But he didn't want to sink anymore, in front of the camera so he stopped and said he would take revenge with a scary face and after that, left the class. Hoban got goosebumps, but didn't expect a chicken head to tell the truth. He also wondered who this chicken really was. In a park, Hoban was waiting for Jixay to discuss their new tube content. Hoban feels that fighting content is difficult if it has to be set up. He is against swindled money. And to let go of all those thoughts, he actually contacted Bomi first. But just chatting made Hoban happy. Bomi said that she was tired of chatting like this, but that doesn't mean she didn't like chatting with Hoban and preferred to hear Hoban's voice directly with the intention of calling Hoban. Hoban's sad single soul exploded reading it, but when he wanted to call Bomi immediately, there was a pair of lovers who knew Hoban. He came up to Hoban and said they were Hoban fans. They also took Hoban to an alley and they blackmailed Hoban who they felt had gotten a lot of money. After checking Hoban's entire body, they did not find a penny of money. Jixai, who suddenly appeared, ran towards them wanting to beat them up, seeing that Hoban was happy that Jixai would save him. However, because he was weak, he was immediately sprawled. The guy confiscated Hoban's cell phone. Hoban felt intimidated, so he just loved him. But the greedy one told Hoban to collect money first before he could take his cell phone while Jixai had his clothes confiscated. After that, the couple left and Hoban asked to be returned, but they ignored him. Hoban becomes hysterical because Bomi's number is stored in the cell phone. Hoban shook Jixai asking to report to the police, but Jixai now he is live. The viewers are laughing at them. Why did Jixai tell Hoban that those earlier were famous in this street? So this is a chance to earn some money. The whispers turned out to be heard by viewers. They added laughter with their behavior.
Jixay flirts again if Hoban catches up with the grumpy bully, the number of viewers will go up. The viewers also asked Hoban to leave, and because he had no choice, Hoban agreed. On the side of the viewers, they are getting excited to watch it. Arrived at a karaoke where Hoban was lazy earlier asking for his cell phone back, even though he knows it was recorded, but the lazy person doesn't care. Hoban saw the sloth hold the mic using his right hand, based on what the tutorial chicken said. People would punch from the main hand they usually use and fight him easier from his left. Because when he punches, most common people would make a big shoulder movement so his fists got weak. The grumpy one got up. Hoban stood to the left of that person. The viewers went wild. Bad guy swings his fist while Hoban prepares to take the punch in a way that doesn't hurt to be hit. Hoban brought his forehead to the crank's fist as if it were a fist. It didn't hurt. This is because the fist will issue a large dimension when it leaves its own body and arrives at the opponent's body. In other words, getting hit quickly won't hurt. Jixai and the audience are shocked by what Hoban is doing, while the lazy one feels that Hoban likes being hit. The bad guy again swung his fist at the Hoban, this time towards his constantly moving head, because an ordinary person would have difficulty adjusting his fist to a moving head. If an ordinary person tries to match the fist with the head, in general, people will try to adjust the head with the fist. If the two people met, then the one who would swing a fist in the head and aimed at the eyes, it would look as if a professional boxer. In this way, Hoban managed to avoid being punched by the greedy one. Even if it hits, it won't hurt. The audience as well as Yixai were shocked by what they saw. The grumpy one even looked tired. Then Hoban said, Give me back my cell phone, bitch. I have to chat with Bomi. The grumpy one tried to punch again, but Hoban managed to dodge it, even though the hit didn't hurt. Viewers were amazed to see Hoban, but after a while they got tired of the fights just going on and on. Even the grumpy boyfriend didn't pay attention to their duel anymore. He was even interested in asking about live NewTube. On Hoban's side, he regrets not watching more videos. Right now he has no way to fight anymore. That's why he just does this. Continues, now the number of views is getting less, but there is one viewer who says this duel will be won by Hoban. He is the person who provided Moon Sung's previous info. Couldn't believe it because he saw Hoban just like that. A viewer named Ting told him to take a good look at the exuberant's fist, and it turned out that the exuberant's fist was now red and swollen. Even hitting a punching bag could swell, especially when it hit the skull that was hard. Even so, Hoban also swelled. But as a result of all that, people who are unfamiliar with boxing received greater pain. He rolled around because of the pain in his hands, and with that Hoban managed to get back his cell phone at the cost of a bump forehead, but so many fans. Then Hoban hurriedly wanted to chat with Bomi, but he didn't know what to say. Meanwhile, the live is still going on. There are lots of comments teaching Hoban how to chat first, and there are also those who ask Jixai not to continue recording. Even so, they all enjoyed today's live, and Jixai also closed his live. The content is immediately updated with views reaching 1.1 million. A week later, Hoban's four videos totaled a combined total of over 25,770,000, and their most recent total gross was over 20 million won. They feel happy after withdrawing the money. After that, Jixai said that now Hoban's channel is lucky we don't get a yellow label. If hit, they will not get any money and what gets hit is usually vulgar content, violence, harsh words and the like. It can even be a red label. A few moments after that, Rumi was seen live outside the store. Rumi now has 70,000 subscribers. Because there was sauce on his clothes, his fans told him. When he looked in the shop window, he saw Hoban in the shop. Jixai takes Hoban away because he knows Rumi is sucking up Hoban's subscribers. After running for a long time, they finally managed to escape from Rumi. Then Hoban saw a dress that interested him. He wanted to buy it even though it was expensive. He suspected it was only around 400,000, but the price turned out to be 1.4 million won equivalent to the salary he gave Jixai. For that, Hoban didn't buy it. He looked back while asking Jixai to leave, but Jixai was now even at the cashier and buying the clothes Hoban had seen earlier. Hoban was immediately surprised because it was equivalent to his salary. Jixai, even he paid in cash. From there, Hoban thought Jixai was a rich kid. Jixai looks at Hoban and asks if Hoban doesn't choose clothes too. 
They need to think about the image, since they are content creators now. After that, Jixai chose other items as well. Hoban became aware of items that were so expensive for him that seemed only reserved for rich people. Even though he has made 20 million won, but he doesn't want to be wasteful. Suddenly a chat came in. When he saw it, Hoban was shocked, and finally he bought clothes for 1.4 million earlier. Hoban on the street was seen by people wearing branded clothes, but they thought Hoban's clothes were fake because they thought high school kids would not buy real things. Meanwhile, Hoban didn't remove the price tag because maybe he wanted a refund. At this time, Hoban wondered why he was called to a place full of people dating. He became nervous about it. Then he started recording his live stream, greeting his viewers. People who saw Hoban there threw bad words at Hoban like a kid making money from beating people up. Crazy for money and embarrassing classmates, hearing that all Hoban looked down sadly. He knew fame wasn't as good as he thought it would be. Even so, the viewers still cheered for Hoban. Hoban also thanked them. Suddenly a voice said, Wow, I'm your fan. From a girl, she asked to take a photo together. Hoban thought it was for him, but in fact it wasn't. This is 170,000 viewers. The girl immediately praised Jiwan's handsomeness while the men knew Hoban even so. They wanted to help Hoban by attacking Jiwan's channel. After a while, they came back to Hoban's channel apologizing because they couldn't win with Jiwan's female viewers. On live chat, Jiwan's current live theme is looking for a girlfriend. Not long after Jiwan saw a beautiful woman, he rushed to the woman's place while introducing himself and asking for a moment. Jiwan thinks that if that pretty girl appears on his live, then the viewer's response will be excited. But the girl refused because she already had an appointment. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. May I know who he is? Asked Jiwan. It turned out that the girl was Bomi. She immediately pointed towards Hoban. Viewer Hoban was immediately taken aback. Bomi said our clothes were the same as a couple's. Hoban's face immediately blushed while many viewers were angry because they thought Hoban had a girlfriend. Hoban used to be envious of slang kids. He was just a skinny coward, couldn't do sports wasn't smart and wasn't rich. All of those things made him inferior. At least he wanted to be like Paco, who was good at fighting. The school is like a jungle where the strong will rule and the weak will bow their heads. The same goes for Pago. In front of Moonsung, he becomes a weakling. Seeing all that Hoban became jealous of Moonsong, but now he is no longer jealous because he has Bomi by his side. No need to mingle, no need to fight. Bomi is close to him. Then their hands accidentally touched. Bomi immediately apologized shyly while Hoban was immediately fascinated. He is carried away by his fantasy that he is married to Bomi. In that fantasy, he has just come home from work. Bomi greets him with an apron. In fact, they also already have two children. But when playing, the child says, Papa, if you just fantasize enough. Hoban woke up. Bomi asked why Hoban was silent earlier. Hoban said that he was indeed a quiet person. Then there was a couple who saw Hoban and Bomi's branded couple clothes. They felt good too, but they also felt sorry for seeing a girl as beautiful as Bomi walking with a short boy. Hearing that Hoban immediately looked down, he felt that Bomi must be ashamed to wear the same clothes as him. And for that, Hoban took off his shirt and told the person earlier that he and Bomi were not a couple. Bomi was surprised to see him, and he was silent. For a few moments, their order arrived. Bomi looking happy. She had always wanted to try it. Hoban was still gloomy, only responded briefly, even when asked what to do after coffee. Hoban replied that there was nothing to do, just go home. Bomi changed the subject this time, asking Hoban and what he likes. Hoban answered briefly. Hoban said he actually didn't like going out. That made Bomi silent and looked down. After that, he stood up saying he'd just go home. Seeing that Hoban asked what she was doing home because the food hadn't been eaten, Bomi said I thought it would be fun, so I asked you to meet. When your chat isn't like this, but when you meet, you just keep quiet. I'm sorry if I disturb your time, while walking away. When Bomi wants to get to the front door, Hoban says you're embarrassed to walk with me. Bomi immediately turns to Hoban. Then Hoban tells him that he, this is the first time meeting alone with a girl, chatting alone like now is also the first time, never even been to a cafe. Hoban at home always watches YouTube but he's embarrassed to tell Bomi that. Previously, he didn't like leaving the house because he didn't have friends. Jixai is not a friend to him and actually really wants to eat with Bomi. 
But if he eats while looking at Bomi in front of his eyes, he will have a hard time swallowing his food because Bomi is so beautiful. Hearing that Bomi's face turns red, she walks towards Hoban and is shocked to see Hoban who is full sweat. It turned out that Hoban had been sitting in the heat earlier. He chose to sit there because he was afraid that Bomi would overheat. He apologized for worrying about Bomi so easily. Bomi smiled knowing that. After that, they walked in the park. Bomi was called by someone saying that she was out with a boy, hearing that Hoban felt like he was like Bomi's boyfriend. After hanging up the phone, Bomi apologized and told him that the one who called was his elementary school friend, who was very close and had not contacted him for a long time. Hoban found that person's preferences funny too, Bomi remembered, and said that his friend at school with Hoban and his name was Moonsung. Hoban was immediately shocked. He had just arrived home from work, but what he saw at home was Moonsung and Bomi, who already had two children. Bomi looked at Hoban and asked who he was. Moonsung said that he was just a mockery trying to get along with slang people. The child who said earlier said, So don't fantasize too much, then now Hoban is leaning against a big wall that blocks himself and Bomi. Hoban also wanted to destroy the wall because he liked Bomi, so he said that he knew Moonsung and was close to him. Hoban didn't want Bomi to think of himself as Moonsung's child. Bomi also looked happy to know that suddenly Moonsung came to their place. Oddly enough, their clothes were the same. Bomi immediately said this was magical and said that Moonsung said he was close to Hoban. Familiar with me? asked Moonsung. Hoban kept his head down. He who used to speak confidently now lost his guts. In fact, for people who are ridiculed like him, there is an unwritten rule that he cannot pretend to be friendly with anyone. But instead he violates it, and even says he is friendly with Moonsung. Seeing the two of them who often faced each other, Bomi looked up and asked what they were doing. Hoban was ready to be beaten, even when he heard Moonsung say he was really close to Hoban because he was in the same class. Hoban was immediately shocked, and then Moonsung called Hoban's name. It was obvious he didn't know Hoban, but he knew Hoban was the person who made the viral video and also didn't expect their clothes to be the same. On Hoban's side, he was happy that Moonsung said they were close, and then they walked together. Hoban felt insecure, and they stopped him and gave them permission to go home with the excuse that his toe hurt and then walked away. Actually, his leg was fine. Bomi, who saw Hoban leaving, felt a little sad, even though she still wanted to play with Hoban. In an alley, it turns out that Jisek recorded Hoban's activities all this time. He said Hoban was stupid, and the viewers laughed at Hoban's reasons earlier. Then Jixai caught Hoban protesting, Why did Hoban run away even though the atmosphere was good? Hoban nuzzles his head on Jixay's chin. He gets angry pointing out that he knows himself and feels unworthy of Bomi. Jixai, who pretends to be cool, says that dating is a competition for men to fight over a woman's heart. But Hoban, he wants to give up. Jixay motivated him by telling him that there used to be a famous basketball coach. The athlete wanted to give up even before the competition started. Then reminded Hoban that it was Bomi who asked Hoban to go out and choose a cafe. If Bomi wasn't interested, he wouldn't do that, and told him to remember Bomi's expression. When Hoban left, Hoban shed tears of joy. He hugged Jixai and thanked him. From there, Hoban was determined to express his feelings to Bomi. He walked away, but all of that was Jixai's rotten intentions who wanted his live to be lively. He had been doing live earlier. His viewer cursed Jixai's actions who were willing to sacrifice friends for views. Those who were interested followed Hoban stopped and were surprised to see someone. Meanwhile, Hoban had reached Bomi's place. He said he was fine, and above all, he said that Bomi was more important. Moonsung said that the sick nails had to be removed. Hoban was scared to hear that. Then Moonsung said he would go to practice because there was a tournament next week. Knowing Moonsung and Bomi weren't dating made Hoban feel pitiful, without knowing anything he had given up before leaving. Moonsung said, Hoban, you're good at fighting. I'll watch your channel. You see, you took a punch to reduce damage, right? And your next move was unintentional. After that, Moonsung walked away. Hoban was dumbfounded by Moonsung, who knew everything. After the two of them, Hoban didn't know what else to say. Bomi knew Hoban was back here wanting to say something. Hoban looks hot. His legs are shaking. He doesn't want to stop by forcing himself. Hoban asks, What type of guy is Bomi? Bomi, who is shy, 
says that his type is an honest guy, then asked back about it because Bomi said his type was an honest person. Hoban so intended to say the type of girl he liked was Bomi. Bomi looked like he was waiting for Hoban's answer. But before that, Hoban knew Jixai was recording from behind, so he caught Jixai first. After seeing his face, Hoban was shocked because Jixai's face was full of bruises. Shortly after that, a Hoban kicked Jixai in the head, and Bomi was immediately shocked, and it turned out that the person was Paco and his friends. He knows this location from the live stream. Paco, who already looks very annoyed, says that he has come for revenge. Seeing this, Bomi became angry, but Hoban told Bomi to go home right now, while Paco still insists on asking for Bomi's cell phone number. But because Bomi didn't give it to her, she told Bomi that she was just an easy girl. Hearing that Hoban looked emotional, but he remembered the chicken's words that he shouldn't be provoked first, he calmed down, and then provoked Paco by saying, Bald, you want to be beaten. While holding up his middle finger, Paco got annoyed he let go of Bomi and punched Hoban. Hoban did a trick so it wouldn't hurt to be hit, but Mr. Go did an uppercut so that it hit Hoban's chin. Paco did uppercut because he knew Hoban's moves and avoided watching Hoban's videos. Hoban felt dizzy he staggered according to what the chicken said. This method will not work with opponents who have seen the movement, and the counter is uppercut. Right now Hoban doesn't know what to do because all he knows is how to reduce the pain when hit. Long story short in the middle of the pouring rain at this time. Hoban was lying down. Then Paco lifted Hoban Hoban thought that he was hit. It would be better than anything because the wound would heal and disappear over time. But this time the wound he felt would not go away. Hoban asked Paco to let Bomi go, but he was punched again. Hoban felt himself pitiful looking weak like this in front of the person he liked with all of this ending quickly so Bomi could go home. On Bomi's side, he wanted to save Hoban, but he was detained by Pago's friend. Bomi told Hoban to say he was wrong. Hoban actually didn't want to see his weak and cowardly figure at Bomi. But now he couldn't do anything and wanted everything to be over, so Hoban knelt down and said I was wrong. But Paco thought Hoban's apology was insincere, so he apologized by removing his clothes in front of tens of thousands of people watching. Hoban was immediately stunned. The battered Jixai could not do anything and could only carry out their orders instead of being recorded and broadcast live. What was even more pitiful was the woman he liked was braver than he was now. Bomi slaps Paco. This makes Paco angry. He grabs Bomi's shirt and asks Jixai to compare his camera to him. But suddenly he was shocked Hoban opened his pants. He knew he really didn't deserve to be called a man, but he had no other way. N had to do this sad way using only underwear Hoban said I had embarrassed myself so please let him go. Jixai cried seeing Hoban. The viewers got excited while Paco laughed. Meanwhile it was sad to see Hoban like this, so he averted his eyes. For some reason Hoban even wanted to take off his underwear too. In his heart he said goodbye to Bomi. Paco was afraid to tell Hoban to stop, because if Hoban's bird was seen on live, then the channel could be blocked. Hoban didn't listen to him. He kept taking his pants off considering this as his last resistance. Unexpectedly before the bird was seen, Moonsung came by lifting Hoban through his pants. Moonsung came here after seeing Paco's live, then Moonsung approached Paco and beat Paco's friends one by one and they fell. Paco who was scared asked to wait, but Moonsung who looked angry punched Paco. Paco also went down. Moonsung approached Bomi and asked if Bomi was okay. He saw Paco's fight just now making Hoban look even more sad. Hoban then bowed down. Bomi said he's okay, I told you he was hurt. Moonsung asked Bomi to leave, but he refused to take Moonsung's hand and said that he had to help Hobby before walking away. Bomi looked back briefly. Until sunny day, Hoban was still like that. He was sobbing. What he felt now was not anger at Paco, but anger at his own pathetic self. He wondered why he was so weak and why he had to live like this. Hoban felt like hitting himself. At school, Paco did live streaming, but now with a new concept, the style of a delinquent, he doesn't even pretend to be nice anymore. Paco shows the new model he is dressing, and he is Jixay. Jixay is currently wondering where Hoban has been absent from school for a week. Jixay is planning to apologize, but because Paco is forced to greet his viewers, Jixay can only comply. At work part-time, Bomi tried several times to contact Hoban, but Hoban never picked up. 
At Hoban's house, you can see a monitor showing the chicken. As long as you don't see Hoban doing training at his house, the part of the chicken's training this time is to win a fight with an ordinary person. Previously, he said that actually the motivational videos of successful people, the motivational books of successful people, were all fake because the polished experiences of successful people would not be able to change a real motivated person. It is within ourselves. The name of that motivation is anger towards yourself by trying hard. After that, the chicken said that the technique that will be taught now takes one month to be mastered because it is in line with his condition. After hearing that Hoban immediately trained to become strong. Hoban has been absent from school for a month. Now it is shown by Rumi who is live streaming Rumi's subscriber has increased to 100,000. After that, he asked Jixai why Hoban hadn't entered yet. Jixai said maybe it was because he was embarrassed he had taken off his pants in front of a girl. Jixai also said that it was natural punishment because Hoban was unconscious. He heard that Rumi was a little surprised he thought Hoban was Jixai's friend. But Jixai said that he had never been friends with the rich Hoban, after that offered himself to be Rumi's team. After that Paco came he heard Jixai was not familiar with Hoban then, if he badmouthed Hoban in front of Pago and asked to return to Pago's team. Pago was angry. He punched Jixay in the stomach. He immediately lay down. Pago said that it was more disgusting than Hoban, which after betraying Pago, he went to Hoban. And when Hoban was down, he asked to go back to Pago. He also continues to be gossiped by his classmates who continue to stick to people who go up. Jixay cries he knows he is indeed a disgusting person, but he does it all because he is considered smart and not good at fighting. Meanwhile, Paco is doing live again in the middle of Jixay, which is lying down. Somehow a lot of people support Paco again with only the current one, and even many who are waving at him. Until now his subscribers have reached 900,000. On the other hand, the number of Hoban's subscribers continues to decrease. The last video was one month ago. Even so, there are still those who are waiting for Hoban's comeback, especially a figure named Ting, whose speaking style is like Paco's parents, who want to make one million subscribers think of an idea. He orders Jixai to bring Hoban to him by tomorrow in exchange for if Jixai does it, and Paco's channel reaches one million subscribers, then Paco will make Jixai his team again. Jixai first thinks Paco is trash, but after hearing the reward he smiles and says he will do it. In him now, all he thinks about is how to survive to live in the hospital. Jixai looks for Hoban's mother. Jixai says that he is a friend of Hoban's and asks for Hoban's home address. The man smiled evilly and said that tomorrow he would be beaten up by Pago. This is because he can't bring Hoban to school, besides that he will get 500,001. Jixai gave an excuse that he already got the address but Hoban wasn't there. He didn't care about that. He slapped Jixi's face once more then told Jixai to convey a message to Hoban via live Paco so that Hoban would come to school. Jixi thought if he did that his life would be free but instead he said, Hoban, don't come to school. Pago accepts the mission he will get 500,001 if you are moonsung in the previous live, you don't come because he will kill you so just hide in your house. An annoyed Pako immediately punched Jixai in the face. Jixai visited Hoban's mother after she got the address from Hoban's mother. She smiled evilly. Her evil smile changed because Hoban's mother thought Jixai was her friend Hoban talked about. Hoban's mother said that every time Hoban came, he often talked about Jixai, and he said if it was his first friend at school. Thanks to that, he was comforted and became excited. Hearing that Jixai was shocked so from there, he didn't want to sacrifice Hoban again, and now he was beaten hard by Paco, no one helped him. Now Pago himself ordered Hoban to come to school. On the live stream, it turns out that Hoban is currently watching Paco live. He sees Jixai who keeps telling Hoban not to come to school, and it turns out to be booming. At this time, Jixai was surprised to see him while Pago was happy that Hoban had started his live streaming. He gave his cell phone and told them to come back channel how to fight, then walked towards Pago, and or, I'll show you how to fight and beat this guy. The audience was stunned now Jixai, who was shaking holding the camera, was told by Hoban not to hold the camera, shaking Hoban's words now he had written on the palm of his hand. Underneath it says, if he says so, Paco will beat him up. Hoban's prediction was correct. Paco saw Hoban. Hoban uses a method so that it doesn't hurt to get hit and it works. 
Jixai, who is watching them, feels that the technique won't work anymore. Moreover, it looks like Pago is taking it for granted. He thought it wouldn't work on him. He threw another punch. When Hoban watched the new tube chicken who became his martial arts teacher, said the way it didn't hurt to get hit could be broken with an uppercut, and only stupid people blocked that way and kept on commenting so he cried feeling really stupid he couldn't live with his current situation. But if you don't live, you won't be able to pay the hospital rent. Hoban felt his life was very miserable, but a moment later he remembered the chicken. He watched the chicken's other video, this time part two where the chicken teaches how to fight against and beat ordinary people after giving motivation, he tells there are three important things needed to fight. The first is weight. Weight is an absolute factor in fighting, although not just grouping weight without reason. Hoban immediately chose the chicken's food, giving input if it was difficult to eat, just make juice. Hoban tried drinking the strange-looking juice for the first time. Actually, there was an easy way, namely recording supplements. But because they were expensive, Hoban chose not to buy them. The second is determination. If you don't have a strong determination, you won't gain weight. For that, you might try hard to drink this strange juice even though you often vomit. But weight gain is not only with food. Because if it is not absorbed by the body, it will come out again as dirt. So exercise is needed so that what is eaten belongs to the body. Hoban immediately started exercising and finally, the chicken's stamina told him to go to the swimming pool, because according to him, there was nothing more effective in training stamina than swimming. Stamina itself is the strength to fight for a long time, and in swimming there is a way to further increase stamina. Yes, that is swimming while clenching your fists, for not wanting to go where the Hoban slang kids swam in the onsen baths. After doing that, Hoban watched again. The chicken said that after doing those three for a month, the weight wouldn't change much. Hoban was immediately surprised. Then the chicken said that in fighting you need technique. A journalist once interviewed Mike Tyson about what techniques a newbie needed in fighting. He also said money, skill, and Mike Tyson taught the technique. First, stretch your feet shoulder width apart. Plant one foot on the floor to concentrate all body weight. On one leg, relax the other leg, and then move the body as if it were going to spin backwards. And the name of the technique is low kick, as Hoban practiced before. Right now, before Paco landed his punch, Hoban first kicked Paco Paco's shins, looking in pain. Hoban was surprised that he managed to feel that the technique he had trained for a month was 1345. It was true what the chicken said, the effort would not betray the results. But after that, Paco laughed, saying that Loki, that should have kicked the thigh, not the shins. Hoban's viewers were embarrassed they thought Hoban learned from the wrong person. But the viewer named Ting said, You guys are stupid because all Hoban did was kick with the aim of the muzzle looking at the fight saying it's Emma-style logic. The latest version collects points only through low kick. The real name is T-shirt cake. Hobby does the kick again. Paco is in pain receiving the kick. It's different from the previous logic that accumulates. The match call cake gives a tremendous impact with one kick knows it's all what Hoban's craft wars. So many want to learn you chip too. Meanwhile, Moonsung, who was either stupid or what was the fight in front of his eyes at night, watched Oban's live stream. But he didn't expect Hoban's kick to be done. Not an ordinary person's kick. Even UFC athletes will lose their balance if they get hit by this kick from the first round. But he smiles at Hoban in the end using the next move he meant yesterday on Paco's side, who was angry he ran over to you. Hoban Hoban remembered the words of the chicken who said, If the weight is far away, it's better to run away first to keep the distance. Hoban also ran away, jumping up and down his shirt. He was the right distance. Hoban did it again. Pago's coffee cake was in pain again. Even now a sound of pain came out of his mouth. Jixai and complicatedly fascinated by Hoban, the viewers got more excited while the muzzle felt something strange. Why didn't Hoban do another attack for a moment? Moonsung thought Hoban would only know if you just click. In time, Paco knows how to deal with Hoban's kick, so he knows Hoban can only take it easy this time. Paco punched Ung Hoban many times. Koban protected his face with his hand before the chicken had predicted everything that we would be easy to read because it's impossible to practice the second technique in a short time. But he taught it first now. 
Hoban wants to strike back. Pack go, thinks Hoban will use the kick shirt again. Hi. So from that he prepares to fend it off. But it turns out Hoban punched him with an overhand hawk, right in the middle of Sealing's face. Blow it now, it's no longer weak. He's been practicing his fist by swimming for this month Facebook when he first entered high school. Hoban still had someone to talk to until Mr. Goyang kicked Hoban in the head for no reason, after Hoban lay quietly trampling Hoban. Since then, Hoban has become a coward. Even the Pago's fear was soaring that he didn't even dare to swear in his heart. But now it's no longer like that with his hard punches while saying I'm not a weak person. Pago was thrown by a schoolmate's triangle locker in shock. They became silent. There was no applause or booing. There was only sound. Oban's breath. Pago's friends came. They were angry and wanted to take revenge. Hijisi immediately stood in front of Hoban and told him not to touch his friends. He threatened that if they used various dictions, they would curse their mother. They were seriously ill. I don't know why their pain was shrinking. Behind them, there was Moonsung Jiksai, who felt they were afraid of their confidence telling them not to do anything else if they didn't get brushed, while Hoban just looked down. Then Moonsung held Hoban's shoulder. He knew Bin was crying, so he said Hoban was cool and asked not to cry again. Hoban cried when this was because he felt happy he wasn't a coward and weak person anymore. After that, Hoban shouted saying, don't forget to subscribe and like it. After that day, Paco didn't come to school again. Hoban felt the prize didn't fully blame Paco and thought Paco didn't go to school not because he was afraid of school himself, but afraid of his image, class dear, not May with the absence of Paco. Some of them are happy that Paco is being hit. Some even watch Paco being hit repeatedly, from Paco subscribers who move to the Hoban channel until Hoban's subscribers become 150,000 YouTubers with more than 100,000 subscribers, namely the silver play button. Now Hoban has arrived at the house doing live and thanking the viewers to the point of prostration after that. Said he would try again while lifting his leg up at the hospital. Hoban gave his mother a shirt. His mother felt sorry for the money. Hoban said that this was cheap to buy at the market, but actually the price was 2.1 million. One, then his mother said that his friend Hoban talked about before coming visiting him. Hoban also said Moonsung turned out to be a friend who was considered Hoban's enthusiast, and entertainer was Moonsung not easy, but after Hoban thought again it was impossible for Moonsung to come here. There was only one more person he thought would come here after leaving the room. Jixai was angry, he protested hearing a friend what Hoban was talking about was, Moonsung Jixai hitting Hoban Hoban did a way that didn't hurt getting hit by Hoban, so he smiled. It turned out that Jixai was a good-natured trash at Jixai's house. He told Hoban if you want a bigger channel you have to recruit an editor. Surprised because all this time Jixai has been editing everything, but Jixai said that he is just an average person, not a pro, and that a pro editor can make bad content, so it's worth your mention who to recruit. After thinking about it all, he did a live with the theme of looking for editors who want to join How to Fight. Hoban asked them to tell their names and experiences after reading. They instead gave their sad life experiences. Hoban whispered and said that these people where could be editors. Their whispers turned out to be heard by their viewers. So they got angry, and Hoban asked if anyone could edit. The first comment named Ting said he was pretty good, but because of the chat, Jixay's parents objected to accepting it. But Hoban said just accept it first. The other viewers too agree therefore if cannot refuse. But he wanted to interview her first, and asked for her contact. The next day, Jixay asked if he had chatted with the old man. It's just that the person's profile looked old school. After that, they discussed a place for the interview. Jixay said the parents were hopeless and wouldn't know the location. Then came a voice. Hoban said he was afraid the old man would come right away and talk too much. As it turned out, not only the men and women were fascinated by the beautiful women who came, Meanwhile, Jixai and Hoban were still stunned. The woman was their future editor.